the liver does so many things besides be a good filter. But in as much as it is a filter, I refer, and you've heard me say this on the teleconferences, it's like a vacuum cleaner bag. Everyone here has gone around and you know, you're going over the dust and it's not picking up. Oh, time to change the bag. And you change the bag, and, you know, it's like a brand new vacuum cleaner every time you do that. We want, in as much as the liver just sort of cleans up the stuff in the gut, in the uh, blood, we want it free flowing and really clean. That's what that marker says it's not doing. You actually end up with kind of a spillover. It'd be worth our while for a second to uh, do this. Let's say, let's say here is uh, your stomach and then the small intestines. And we said that off the small intestines is a vascular system that goes directly into a portal vein into the liver. So the, the nutrients from the small intestine are being carried over to here. And if there is excessive antigen load, let's say you got leaky gut, or for you have other stuff. I mean, that isn't the only place stuff comes into the liver from. So you get other ways stuff's going into the liver. And the liver has to clean it up. And it conjugates and it changes it. Now the liver does two things. It pumps the blood black out. It eventually it gets to the heart and goes to the body. So you know, I actually was in a conference when a doctor asked me, well, how do those supplements get into the body anyway? You know, like, dude, they don't study nutrition. They don't. They get three or four days of nutrition. The food goes in here and your supplements and stuff, and what is allowed to by the mucosal barrier goes into the bloodstream, but it's a very closed bloodstream. It's not going out into the body, not yet. Not unless you have holes in here. That's a different problem. But So it's going to go in here, it's going to go in the liver, and the liver is going to change it. Now when you get a lot of this antigen load coming, the liver just spills over. It can't put everything into the gallbladder. All the garbage goes into the gallbladder. The gallbladder is holds the bile. That's kind of like the garbage. We'll just call it for now the garbage from the, from the liver. And what does it do with it? What does it do with it? Doc? The gallbladder, what does it do with that bile? It pumps it right back into the top of the food chain, so to speak, through the common duct. Because it uses it to break down fat. It's actually very wonderful how that works. We take our garbage and we use it to break down fat. It's a perfect system. So when you have an, an overload that it can't clean out, it's going to spill over into the bloodstream, these uh, like bile acid sulfates. And again, those get picked up by, here's a kidney, by the kidney and excreted in the urine as a urinary bile acid sulfate. That's what we call it a UBAS. So, so that's what we're looking at right there is just an indicator that, hey, this little baby right here is like a vacuum cleaner bag that's full and it's like the dust is going in the air instead of all into the bag type of thing. And this, this right here is a pretty good demonstration of, matter of fact, that's what I use in my lectures on uh, that right there is what I tell people in a lecture on digestion and detoxification. So that's very cool.